Yo, yo, it's your girl, the car, and I'm back with another video on period poop. So, <laughs> today, wait, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna be doing a New York slang video, New York lingo, for me. So, y'all gonna get the tea on how to talk New York. So, the first, all right, before we start, it's a whole lot of lingo that, you know, people use in New York. And some of y'all be real confused. So, this video, I'm just going to be like, you know, telling y'all how to get it together when it comes to speaking like you're from New York. So, I got some words on my old phone that I'm going to be saying and explaining. So, the first word is lit. Lit means basically to, like, be turned up or... Meaning that, I mean, I don't, lit is just like, it's lit, it's litty, everything excited, everything is, you know, it's fun, basically. The next word we have up here is capping or cap. I don't really think that's from New York, but capping means like, it's a lie or like, it's just not the truth. Like, you're capping, bro. That's it. Next, we got facts. Facts, people used to use that a lot, like couple years ago whatever but i still use facts when i'm texting but facts is basically like that's it's the truth like facts bro you right um next we got your basically it's like yo like what's up basically from afar because people in new york yell that like your 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 the next thing we have is static <clears throat> static is basically like it's a problem it's beef you want static or no? You want static or no? Nah? But people don't ask that. But it's either you want static or you don't. If you want static, it's going to be static. If you don't want no static, then mind your business. Period, poo. Next, we got day room. Day room means that, like, you're corny. Like, you're mad sherm. Sherm, sherm is the next thing on my list. It's basically you're childish. But day room is like... You do stuff and it's just like what bro like why would you she's mad day room that's day room next i got bacon egg and cheese bacon egg and cheese is really a bacon egg and cheese sandwich y'all it's a breakfast sandwich but new yorkers just say it as one word bacon egg and cheese can i get a bacon egg and cheese on a roll period i need to get me a bacon egg and cheese when i get back home though next we got dead ass dead ass basically means like i'm serious i'm dead serious that's it or or that or word to my dad word to my dad is basically that ass but to the extreme like i'm dead serious right now word to my dad if you come over here i'm gonna violate you that's what somebody would say in new york um rt or real talk is basically like facts so if somebody be like rt or oh real talk real talk you say something and they be like real talk that means like real talk like it's a fact it's it's just the truth basically facts real talk and like yeah facts and real talk could be the same thing next i got up here is good looks good looks is basically thank you either they'll say g looks or good looks that's just thank you um next is yktv you know the vibes you know the vibes y'all hear me say you know the vibes all the time that's basically like you know the vibes you know like, you already know what's up, basically. Like, say somebody got on something or, like, say I got something and they be like, oh, that's drip, that's drip. And I'm like, you know the vibes, you know the vibes. Like that. Next is dub. Dub means, like, ba, basically. Like, you a dub. If somebody say you a dub, then that means, like, it's clipped for you. Clipped is my next word, which means, like, it's over. You're done. You're done up done up it's clip your dub adios amigos basically next we got hot hot means not it's hot outside but you making it hot like you making it obvious that you doing something or like you make it's hot or if somebody be like oh it's hot right now that means either the d's is around the d's is the cops okay the d's is around and you making it hot so you need to Relax a little bit. Chill out for me. You don't want it to be hot. 
Next we got movie viral bow. Movie viral bow is basically like everything lit. It's a situation, but it's overhyped basically. So if you're in a situation that is mad hype, it's mad heads. I'm gonna explain what mad heads is too. But if it's mad heads, you're gonna be like movie viral bow. Everybody got their phone out recording, recording. That's when you see that's when you use that term when it's lit or when it's a fight or something. You'd be like movie viral bow. Movie viral. Anyways, next is Trish. Trish is basically a thought. Like, it's a disrespectful term for to use for a female. So if you call her a Trish, then she a Trish. Like, you know, she always around guys or boys. I can't say, you know, what I, I'm really thinking because I don't want to curse up here too much. But she always around males and she just always in a male phase like she's a treesh or if she trying to smoke clips and all of that with males she's a treesh that's a treesh next we got never gave people say it never gave a lot but we say that in new york a lot it never gave like never gave basically is never gave like i don't it never gave go outside when it's cold it never gave homework it never gave like, it's just something that you, that you use when you just, like, nah, it never gave. Like, me waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning for school, it never gave. Y'all understand. Next is, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna hold you. I love my subscribers. Basically, that's what it means. Like, I'm not even gonna hold you. It's just, like, I'm, a, I'm keeping it real with y'all. Like, or if somebody be like, I'm not even gonna hold you. It's just, like, a, to be honest, basically next is dumb like when people use the word dumb that's basically like an a, a, like a exaggerated term for what they're talking about i did that nice i said that nice y'all that's what dumb means so her, her butt is dumb fat or you know that's just what somebody would say bozo basically means you like you're a clown you're corny you're a bozo you're mad corny. You just a bozo. That's bozo. That's mad heads. Like I said before, mad heads is when it's mad people around. Like, say I'm walking BBP, Brooklyn Bitch Park, be having mad heads in the summertime. Like, it's just, that's just basically what it is. So next we got say less and say that. Say less is basically like enough talking, like I heard you. Or say that is like heard, basically. Like, and I'm gonna explain what heard means too. But say less is if somebody be like say less, that means like oh I I got I got you like I understand what you mean. Before my phone really interrupted me, I was at valid. Valid basically means like if you get a good opportunity or something, you be like oh that's valid. It means good basically. Next is son or man's. That's my son. That's my man's. That's my like y'all cool basically like that's my son. I'll call my little sister oh that's my son for me that's. That's my, your mans is like your friends or whatever. Your son is somebody that's like closer to you. Gang is not even bow, bow, boom, boom, all of this. Not, that's not what gang means. Gang means like, that's my gang. That's your friends. Like my friends, me, Gabby, Gianna, Nisi, Maya, Tiana, Jay, Destiny. That's my gang. Those are my slimes. So, next is tight or getting me tight. Tight, people, like, think, people that's not from New York think that it's, like, something else. But if you say tight, that basically means, like, somebody getting you mad or, like, you tight right now. If if I be like, nah, bro, I'm dead tight right now, that's just because I'm tight. Like, I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm mad. I don't want to be bothered. Um, Next is heard. Heard is basically, like, heard you. Like, I heard what you said. Like, you know. Next after heard is I bet. If somebody say I bet, it's just basically like I bet. Like I heard you, I understand. Or um, what else could it mean? I bet. It's just I bet. Like okay, like for me. Next is bugging or wilding. If you bugging or you wilding, you obviously like doing too much or like nah, you wilding, bro. Like you doing a lot. That's basically what bugging means. Next, bugging is y'all know what bugging mean. Feel me? She bugging. She over there. She wilding in the spot. 
she doing too much or she, he's bugging he's doing too much basically ODing or ODing or OD like that's OD like basically it's like bugging or wilding you doing a lot ODing you dragging it dragging it is basically you're doing too much all of that ODing bugging wilding um dragging it that could all go in the same circle like it's just too much you're doing too much for no reason next we got fire fire is like if i see somebody on instagram i'm like oh she's fire fire is like a good thing that's like a plus like oh she's fire that means you cute or you bad like not bad you look not like you look bad but you bad ma you, you fire fire ma fire mommy next we got brick brick is basically like it's mad cold like it's brick it's brick outside right now nobody want to go outside and it's brick period it's just too cold that's just brick deep is it's either mad fall or it's mad people like they came deep bro it was 50 heads outside they came and jumped the girl it was 50 heads like what that's deep or if i be like oh um like all right so say y'all coming from no you know it's deep the whole labor day when it's eastern parkway that whole strip is deep like walking that is deep that's too far it's far but you know that concludes all of my new york terms okay okay oh, and your girl oh we say period a lot too but i don't think period city girls made that but you know like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend comment your favorite new york word on period pool um smash my like button like i said tell a friend to tell a friend make sure you add me on snap at lila.pige and follow me on instagram at slayzukari underscore and i'm out on a gang on a guys on a bros